we're going to look at discovery database. Um, so what it is, why you need it, how to get logged in, everything you can do. Um, like there, it's just another database similar to Infotrack and EBSCO, except for it has its own particular use, and I'll show you why it's actually one of my favorites for you guys. But I'm um, starting off, go to the district website, go over here to Wasco High School, and scroll down at Wasco High School, you can see Library Media Center, and eliminate those. And there is students and click on research center. Open up the actual research center here. As always, go down to databases. You see EBSCO host, InfoTrack, and then discovery. It also has your username and password right under it. How to log in. Um, let's see if I can remember. I created a student account for this. Yay, it worked. Okay, this is my fake student account. And here, um, how does you log in? You choose a grade. Now, you guys are ninth, 12th, so choose that. This will help you find some more of the things you need. Um, it's cool, once you're in here, you can have like a, identify your favorites. You can organize it, keep a folder, etc. cetera. But, um, what I love about Discovery Education really is it's very video oriented. And um, since me, I actually learn more from video than reading. It's faster, it's easier. It's something about that uh, frame rate just sticks in the mind. Also, um, you, can, um, you can download and use the videos so a lot more of our presentations or what we have to turn in or go on presentation orientation, um, making Google sites, um, that type of thing, you can actually use the videos to help that. And that's one thing I like. Um, now it automatically gives you some categories too. Um, so say you have uh, something about uh, World War I. So United States history, uh, then some time periods, let's see, modern America, let's see, modern America, that looks like, it's good, so go here to modern America, so you have immigration, just the road recovery, assimilation, uh, urging the U.S. to enter World War I, oh, it's an image, cool. The Red Velvet Rough Riders, and consumer industry, so on and so forth. American Industrial Revolution. So a lot of, and um, you can actually over here once you get it to there, you can actually come down and U.S. after World War One, Great Depression, World Affairs through World War One, and then I can even select what media type um, do I want to view it, listen to it. So edible is a primary source. My neighbor recruiting. So say I really like um, let's see. I don't know what this video is about. It doesn't matter. Actually I don't like that. Things that shook the world. So this is, it says it's a two hour video. Now that's not gonna do me any good. I don't want to eat something two hour. But what I can do is come here to the listing of what are all the smaller videos in it and say, okay, the Battle of the Sun, which is a major, I'm mispronouncing that, but major time period in World War One. find this video and I go okay I want to put that on my quick list or I want to put in my favorites or I can download it 
or I can share it with a friend if I'm working with partners on something. You can send it to him, hey, someone else is actually making this, we're just working on different parts, hey, add this to page, etc. of our site. Whatever. Um, and you can take a look at it, which I'm not really going to play it. That's closed captioning, and as cool as you can also, it has a full citation if you need to do MLA, APA, Chicago, and you can look at the actual transcript of what is said through this. So if you wanted to cite this in a paper, the video, and you wanted to quote it, you can actually just find the what is being said, which is actually a neat feature. Um, so, and you can also do searches up here. So say I needed to do something on Joseph McCarthy. And then I have a list. Um, and then from there I can, okay, choose grades, nine to 12, matches the grades and standards you'd be dealing with. And then I want one to view, and I not want images. And then you have closed captioning, editable primary source, etc. Um, so this is actually a pretty awesome. You can also do advanced searches, which involves a little bit more detail. The keywords sort by when it was added, um, copyright was, language, etc. Not going to need to worry about that. This is a, a quick overview of how to use it for you guys. Um, make sure and actually use the site. It's great for adding to presentations, adding to websites. I mean, if you're making a website, you want to have to type less. And having a video that you can say, take a look at this, provide a lot of the information, be specific with its use, which would be much more helpful than typing a long paragraph. And also in your presentation, you could talk a little bit about it and then present like a one minute video and it'll save you from having to do a lot of speaking, which I know students aren't really huge on doing. So make sure to log in. Oh, in your guys' login, in case you missed it again, is your school login, which is first to your first name, first to your last, last four of your long ID, and then your long ID number.